Hi, I'm Michael. Today, we're gonna make this resin ice table. I started by lining my mold with Tyvek tape. After I had all the inside surfaces taped, I clamped the mold together and secured the seams with hot glue. I laid out the bark in the mold until I had a pattern that I liked, and then I did a first light resin pour over the middle and the two edges and let that set up so that when I did the bigger pour, the bark would not float. When Total Bulk cures, there's a heating process that occurs and bubbles will form if you pour too much at one time. In this case, I wanted this to happen. I then poured the rest of the resin until it was covering all the bark. And the next day after it cured, it looked like ice. After demolding off camera, I lightly sanded the top so that the final coat of resin would fully bond to the surface. I then put it back in the mold and I poured a final clear coat so that we would have a nice clear table top. I'm doing one last sanding to prep it for one last resin pour and we'll revisit that later. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rip these in half the lengthwise so that I can use each one of these boards that are cut the height of the legs to create the legs. I'm using the bandsaw because our table saw hasn't really been leaving me with the best cuts lately. I think I need to get a new blade, but for right now, we're gonna just measure out half of the width, run it through the bandsaw, and then we'll get to putting together the legs. I then took half of the legs and trimmed off the width of one board so that both sides would be even. So these are our finished leg assemblies and when we get them together they're going to just be a simple L shape which will go around the table. You know, giving it this shaping makes it so that without using any fancy joinery at all whatsoever, it'll give the table a little bit of rigidity and strength, and um, it'll be more than capable of holding any weight that we're gonna put on this type of table. So right now I'm just gonna check the seams, make sure that they are nice and tight, and if they aren't, then I will do a pass through the joiner real quick so that we can get a good bond. So two of them are pretty good, but two of them look like they could use a pass through the joiner, so I'm just gonna give all of them a quick couple passes through the joiner to make it so we have a nice tight edge when we go to do our glue up. I put lines across the seam so that I knew where to cut my biscuits in. I then put the biscuits in the slots. 
and lined up the two sides. And clamp them together. After clamping it, I secured the two halves with my nail gun so that I could free up my clamps and move on to the next leg assembly. After that, I filled the seams and the nail holes with oak colored wood putty. and finish off the edges with my card scraper after it dried. I then measured the final length of the legs and trimmed them down on the bandsaw. Using the top, I measured all the sides for my cross supports. I then cut out the pieces, made sure that they fit right, and glued them together. Doing the joints in this manner isn't the strongest, but this is just a temporary hold to help keep them square while I secure them to the leg assemblies later. So off camera, I sanded all the components and now it's time to put the finish on it. For the finish on these, we're just gonna use a wipe on satin finish poly. While the poly dried, I revisited the tabletop. I poured a small amount of Total Boat over the top and then used a foam brush to smooth it out. I did not refinish the bottom because it's not going to be seen. After everything had finished drying, I pre-drilled into the resin block and secured the top support to the block. I then glued the bottom support directly to the legs. Off camera, I added brad to the bottom support and then removed the clamp so I could use them to help me position and secure the top. However, not every job is meant to be done alone and I dropped it. So I started again and took a slightly different approach to the assembly. I removed the pieces, pried out the nails, patched up the bottom, and then I used resin to secure the wood to the block directly. This time I learned from my mistakes and I put the block on the floor. I then reassembled the bottom support, clamped everything together tightly, and let it sit overnight. And it worked, but I was a little concerned that it would be strong enough to withstand daily use. So I taped off the top of the legs, flipped it over, and mixed up some more total boat epoxy, and using a syringe, applied it in the seams between the legs and the tabletop, and let it cure. And this seemed to solve the problem. Overall, I'm really happy with the way the table looks. The simplistic design of the base combined with the resin that absolutely looks like a frozen chunk of tree bark. The bubbles mixed with the moss and the bark. The look is exactly how I pictured. However, the biggest mistake that I made was I tried to do it too fast. 
I made the base while I was still curing the resin, and as a result, my measurements weren't 100% accurate. And that really threw off the final assembly. We had a couple of rocky moments in there, especially when I dropped the top, but in the end, we were able to salvage it and get it right where it needed to be.